everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine. And I'm here today with a rather enormous fabric haul. <laughs> I'm looking and there's a lot there. There's a lot there. I'm also going to talk you through the plans that I've got for any of the fabrics that I have got plans for at the moment. But I'll just start off by saying, when I was writing my plan for this video, I made some notes on what I was going to say. And I was thinking, right, how am I going to justify all of this fabric that I'm going to show and then I thought that's ridiculous because I don't need to justify it everybody's circumstances are different everybody's budgets are different things like that and I just thought we always feel the need to justify things like this I've seen it recently on Instagram as well and you know we shouldn't need to because this is a non-judgmental space everybody's circumstances are different and some months I will purchase a lot of fabric and other months I'll purchase no fabric. What I will say though is a reason why I have purchased quite a bit of fabric recently is my needs have changed, my lifestyle has changed. Obviously I've recently had a baby eight weeks ago and my body shape has changed, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis has changed and my wardrobe doesn't really cater for that and therefore I did need to add some more pieces to my wardrobe. Now, yes, I do already have fabric in my stash, but I also wanted to buy some new fabric and I will show you what I got. Just before I carry on, the one thing I will say that I want to try and do myself is not to let fabric languish in my stash for so long because I've actually put some on my D-Stash account on Instagram this week to sell because my tastes have changed. So I might have bought that fabric a year ago, a year and a half ago, and I still haven't used it. And now I'm not as drawn to it. My tastes have changed or my style has changed since then. So I really do want to make an effort to use fabric quicker. So, you know, I love it, I buy it, I have a plan for it therefore I should try and get it made as soon as I can. So that is a goal I'm setting myself. One more thing before I start, if you catch sight of my nails during this video, please excuse them. I had them done about four weeks ago and they've hugely grown out and I need to get them done again, but I just haven't had a chance yet. So excuse those. I'm wearing a Cartagena cami by Itch to Stitch. So it's just a jersey cami top with black fold over elastic for the straps. This jersey is from Felicity Fabrics. I believe they've still got it in stock, so I will link it down below. Right, the first three fabrics I'm going to show you are from Guthrie and Garney. Guthrie and Garney are one of my favorite fabric shops. They always stock amazing quality fabrics and they just so happened to be the Inner Haystack discount shop for the month of August. So In A Haystack, if you don't know already, is an online sewing subscription. So it's like a magazine that you get delivered to your inbox at the start of every month. And it has loads of really interesting content, but then as a bonus, it has a discount for a fabric shop. And actually now it has two discounts, one for a European fabric store and one for a North American fabric store. And then, it also has a pattern as well. So the discount code for August was for Guthrie and Garney. Guthrie and Garney very rarely offer discount codes. So I thought I'm gonna use this opportunity to snap up a couple of pieces. I didn't buy much, but I just wanted some nice jerseys to make some simple t-shirts for myself. The first one I got is a cotton jersey. And it's this one. So it's just this mustard background and then it's got these thin cream stripes and then a grey stripe running through it as well. So I just got a meter of this one. It's 95% cotton, 5% elastane. And I just thought that would make a really nice simple t-shirt, possibly the Tabitha t-shirt by Tilly and the Buttons from the Make It Simple book. That's that one. And then I picked up another jersey, another meter. This one is cotton jersey again but it's also got a little bit of polyester content and then the elastin to give it the stretch so I love this one because it's got the grey and cream stripes but then it's got really bright colours running through it as well so orange, yellow, turquoise and blue so again just another simple t-shirt very possibly the Tabitha t-shirt again for that one 
lots of stripe matching to be doing with those two. <laughs> And then the other piece that I got was just for something to make for Taylor. I love this fabric as soon as I saw it and I just thought my baby boy would look gorgeous in something made out of this fabric. So it's a jacquard knit, it's got these lovely stars on on a grey background and I picked up 0 0.8 metres of this one. What I love about Guthrie & Garney is you can buy fabric in 10 centimetre increments. So they list their prices in metres, so the price is always given per metre, but you can enter your decimal amount for your, like, tenths of a metre basically. So yeah, I got 0 0.8 metres of that because I knew I didn't need a full metre and I didn't want to have lots left over. So I love that one. Right, that's Guthrie and Garney out of the way. The next fabric I show you I actually got delivered today and it's my next blog post fabric for Felicity Fabrics. So they provide the fabric for me. I choose whichever fabric I want from their website. I message them and say what project I've got in mind and they always agree actually which is great but as soon as I saw this fabric I just thought it was really fab. It's a Lady McElroy fabric and it is this one. It's just, is that easier? <laughs> I just don't want to hide my face. There we go. That works. So it is a linen and viscose blend. 55% linen, 45% viscose. It's got these lovely elephants all over and I just really, really loved it. And these are going to be a pair of Miller trousers by Paper Theory. I just thought they would be a really cool, comfortable trouser to wear mainly around the house, but I reckon I can wear those out as well. <laughs> the only thing that I was thinking of, and you might be able to help me with this, is what on earth would I put on the top? You know, when your trousers are as fabulous as this, what could I wear on the top? Maybe just something really simple, like a plain black or a plain white t-shirt, or pick out one of the colours in the elephant. We've got sort of orange and pink, maybe. If you've got any ideas for a pattern that I could wear on the top half with a pair of comfortable Miller trousers then please do let me know. So yes that's my next blogger project and I'm really looking forward to making that so thank you Caroline and Fliss for sending me that. Right the next fabrics are from Sew Me Sunshine so Harriet always has a gorgeous range of fabrics and I hadn't purchased anything from her for a little while so I was having a look the other night say night, it was the middle of the night slash morning when I was feeding Taylor and doing a bit of online shopping and I spotted some new viscose jerseys that Harriet had uploaded and I love viscose jersey. So I ordered a couple and then ordered another piece, you know, just to bump up my order to get free postage as you do. So the first piece I just got a meter of, it's this leopard print viscose jersey, but it's a teal background with sort of a lime green colour in it as well and this is going to be I think the Lunar Tank by Helen's Closet which is a new pattern and it was a free pattern which was sent out to her email subscribers. I think that'll be really nice as that or it could just be a simple t-shirt but I'm thinking the Lunar Tank would look nice in that one. So I'm not repeating myself, all of the viscose jerseys I'll show you are the same composition, so it's 95% viscose and 5% elastane. So more drapey than your cotton jerseys. More drapey, more stretchy. Perfect for something flowy like the Lunar Tank. Then another viscose jersey that Harriet had is this one, and I just love the design of this. I think this was called Alice on her website, so Alice viscose jersey. I love the colours in this and I love the big bold sort of abstract floral design. I ordered 2.5 metres of this, it was only £9 a metre which I think is a really good price. It's on a gorgeous sort of dark green background and then it's got mustard and cream colours. I couldn't get my words out then. So yeah I've got 2.5 metres because that is going to be a dress, possibly a kilo maybe a long sleeved kilo wrap dress for winter. I think that would be lovely. And then one more fabric I bought from Harriet was just something random that caught my eye but I really loved the colour and it's this. So I think it was referred to as electric 
blue and it's a stretch denim it's 10 ounce and I just really loved the shade of blue it's really like a vibrant bright blue denim I got 1.5 meters of that and I'm going to make some sort of pinafore for the winter possibly a Cleo but possibly the Bobby pinafore by Tilly and the Buttons as I haven't made that one but I really really loved like I say the color of that denim it just really popped and it caught my eye on the website Right, I've got two more shops to show you fabric from. The one that I'll do next is Rainbow Fabrics, which I discovered on Instagram, first through Elisa Lex, who owns By Hand London, the pattern company. She, I think, goes there as it's a local fabric shop and she always shows some amazing fabrics that they have. But then also my friend Sam from Purple Sewing Cloud shops there and has been showing some gorgeous fabrics recently. So I've been following their Instagram stories and spotting some lovely fabrics that they had. And I thought I'd place an order, my first order with Rainbow Fabrics. So what I loved when my order first arrived was that they sent me some freebies. Now from seeing other people's Instagram stories, they've also been getting freebies. So I wasn't special. <laughs> they sent me two packets of buttons. So these ones are like a tortoise shell effect. And then these are like a small sort of copper bronzy shade but what's great is I've never got matching sets of buttons like in larger quantities so when it comes to needing buttons for a dress for example I never have what I need so that's really useful so thank you very much Rainbow Fabrics. They also send you a little card out with your order with a discount code on for your next order so that's that. I'll just flush it so you don't see the discount code. <laughs> you have to place your order if you want to see that. Right so the first fabric I got was a complete impulse purchase but I just loved it so much it's a designer dead stock swim or active wear fabric and this is it it's really cute floral design in blue navy blue red and pink on a white background and I just thought it was really really cute it was only £7.49 for the meter and I just thought that I would use this next year probably to make some sort of swimwear a swimming costume or a bikini I'm not ready to do that this year, but next year I'm hoping that I'll fancy making a swimming costume in that. I just couldn't resist it because it's so cute. Then the next two fabrics I got from them were sold to me on their Instagram stories. So, oh, the feel of this one is incredible. So this is called a Kupro. It's a Japanese fabric that they got and it's black and it just feels incredible. It feels like a sand washed silk and that's what they said on their website and it really really does. It's so soft. It feels amazing. Oh, I love it. So it's nice and drapey and fluid as well. This was only £4.99 a metre which was an incredible price. They said it retails at something ridiculous like £27.99 a metre or something. And they managed to get it cheaper and were selling it for £4.99 a metre, which is amazing. I got three metres of this because I thought it would be perfect for something like a pair of culottes. Maybe like the Winslow culottes by Helen's Closet or something like that. But it's just gorgeous. On their website as well, they had some information about what Cupro is. So I will just read you that. So Cupro originates in the natural cotton plant and is reborn with the infusion of human technology. Therefore, it features both the gentleness of natural fibers and the functionality of man-made fibers. Each Cupro fiber is extremely fine and has circular cross sections, largely free from the unevenness of natural fibers and uniform in thickness. One touch and the difference is clear. Cupro is softer than cotton. There you go, that's a nice explanation from their website. And it's just a really beautiful fabric that will obviously match with so much in my wardrobe because it's just plain black so yes I love that one and then this one I also got three meters of and it's an incredible retro floral viscose wait till you see this print and the colors in it isn't it incredible super drapey because it's viscose but just beautiful. I absolutely love it. This one was $6.99 a metre, which is just an absolute bargain. So I got three metres of this to make some sort of dress with. I haven't decided what dress 
to make and I haven't decided whether to make it soon or whether to actually put this one away for spring summer next year. Let me know if you think this would work in autumn winter or if it needs to go away for spring summer. But I just absolutely love it, it's gorgeous. So I would highly recommend that you go and check out Rainbow Fabrics. I will link them down below. I'll link to the fabrics that I bought if they're still in stock, but their prices are super, super reasonable. A lot of them are super cheap and the quality of what I've received is absolutely amazing. So highly recommend, go and check them out. You will find some absolute bargains. They have designer dead stock fabric and they have just a huge range. I'm sure you'll find something that you love. And then my last fabrics are all from Lamazi Fabrics. So, I've got quite a few. The first ones I'll show you were bought very much with specific projects in mind. They're both going to become the same garment. And that is the Ebony Top by Closet Core Patterns. I made some of these when I was pregnant and I found them super useful now that I'm breastfeeding. They're really, really comfortable to wear. I can just lift up, because they're so billowy and flowy, I can just lift it up, feed Taylor and feel like, you know, we're both comfortable. If I want to cover him up a little bit, I can. Yeah, they're great, but I needed a couple more in my wardrobe. So I spotted two fabrics on Lamazi that would be perfect for ebony tops. So this one I think is currently sold out, but they often get things back in stock, so do keep an eye out. It's a viscose jersey. I got 1.5 meters of each of these because that's enough to make the top version. And this one's called Fantasy Flowers and it's just got the most gorgeous floral print on it in just beautiful colors. I love the teal, teal's probably my favorite color. But I just think that's absolutely beautiful and it's viscose jersey so it's got that drape that is perfect for the ebony top. And then the other one is Botanical Garden Lyosil Modal Jersey. So this one's super high quality, feels incredible. I was watching Keely from Voice of a Creative. She bought this same fabric and she described it as being similar in quality to the Liberty viscose jerseys and I would completely agree. It does feel amazing, like super, super soft. So yeah, just another floral design with gorgeous colors, which I loved. They've got this in stock currently as we speak and they've also got it in a different colorway so do head over and take a look i would highly recommend this fabric it's going to make a beautiful ebony the next one that i got is actually one that they sent to me for my next blog post for them i haven't blogged for lamazi for a little while while i've been pregnant and then obviously with a new baby but i'm going to be doing another blog post for them soon and a video and i chose one of their viscose jerseys i think it is my favorite fabric I really do love it. And it is this one, which is like a navy leopard print. It's the same as the teal leopard print I showed you earlier, just in a different colorway. Lamazi have uploaded a huge selection of viscose jerseys in the past week, like huge. And the same design, but in lots of different colors. So whatever colorway you prefer, I'm sure you'll find something that you love on there. So yeah, I've gone for this one for my next blog project. I've got three meters because I'm going to make a wrap dress with this probably the Wanda wrap dress by Wardrobe By Me. So, love that one. Then the last few pieces I got from Lamazi are all remnants. So I've talked about their remnants section before. Their remnants are really good because they're like decent sized remnants that you could do something reasonable with, not just like really small pieces that you'd have to use for children's clothes, for example. So the first one I got is another viscose jersey and it's this one. This is semi-circle viscose jersey and I got 0.65 meters of this which is going to be the lunar top by Helen's Closet that I mentioned earlier but the cropped version I think that's all I'll have enough for but it was a really good price so I thought that would be perfect and then this one is meadow blue viscose jersey which I got 0.94 meters of and again I thought possibly the lunar top by Helen's Closet or just a simple t-shirt I think the Luna top's going to be great, again, for breastfeeding. It's similar to the ebony top in its shape, but it's a vest, so it's got no sleeves. It's got more like a scoop neck and then just sleeveless, but it's got that flowy effect. So that could become that, or a t-shirt, like I said. Then I got 
a viscose twill in an olive colour and this is 1.45 metres of viscose twill. I love working with viscose twill and this is going to be probably a pair of shorts or trousers maybe culottes, depending on what I can get out of that 1.47 metres. I've got the Opal pattern by Megan Nielsen, which is her recent release, and that could possibly be what I use this for. But I just thought a lovely pair of plain trousers in my wardrobe would be great. Then I got a remnant of this amazing Rifle Paper Company canvas. So it's called Peonies. It's a linen canvas, and this is almost a metre. 0.7 meters. Now I actually bought this to make a bag because I was going to be doing a pattern test for a bag but the time frame for the pattern test has now moved and I'm away for 10 days of the 14 of the testing period so I've had to say that I can't test for it now but I love the bag design so much I think I'll wait until it's released and then use this still for that bag. So love 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 that one and then this was a little splurge that I just saw in the remnant section and had to have. So it's a Nanny Eero double gauze. It's absolutely beautiful. Very much an impulse purchase because I don't know what I'm going to make with it. Some sort of top maybe the Chilo top by Closet Core Patterns, something simple like that that just really shows off this beautiful design but it's super high quality and gorgeous. Again, Lamazi have got a few of the Nanny Eero double gauzes on their website at the moment so definitely have a little look at those. Right, one more piece I got from Lamazi, I got this in a separate order, is this Mind the Maker Viscose Twill. It's the Urban Leo design. Now this was a remnant again, I got just under a metre of this to make an Ogden cami with. And then a new feature on the Lamazi Fabrics website is they've done a collaboration with Roisin from Adornments by Roisin who makes the lovely headbands that I've talked about on here before. So she's making headbands out of the remnants of fabrics that Lamazi sell. So you can see this one has been made with this fabric. So I thought I would get them both and then I can have a hairband to match my Ogden cami. So definitely go and check out the hairbands, they're absolutely beautiful. They're on the Lamazi Fabrics website. You order them through them and then Rasheen makes them and sends them out to you. So yeah, that one's also got a Telia brunette fabric on, which is gorgeous. Ziggy's just joined me if you spot her. And I've just realized I've got one more fabric from a different shop, which I'll show you very quickly. And it's this gingham cotton from Like So Amazing. I just loved the lilac and I loved the large gingham design. I got two and a half metres of this to make a dress with. Again, is it too spring summer like? Do I need to put this away for next year? Please let me know down below. I would really appreciate it. Right, I need to dash because I'm running out of time. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know which of those fabrics was your favourite. And if you've bought any of the same fabrics, it would be great to know. This hair. I hope you're all doing really well. If you don't already subscribe, please hit that button and join us on this channel. I would really appreciate it. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video and the notification bell to find out when my next video goes up. Hope you're all really well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Happy sewing. Bye. They also sent me a little postcard with their, with my... Chilo? Chilo? Chielo? Top?